welcome to our annual Christmas play. Uh, we thank you for coming, being with us tonight as we celebrate this miracle that is our Savior's birth. To start out this evening, I would like to ask you to stand for a word of prayer. His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved.
clippity clop, sounds a donkey's feet. Clippity clop, clippity clop, sounds a donkey's feet. Clippity clop, clippity clop, sounds a donkey's feet. Just a little donkey, the one that the board, the one we only want to save you that the world is waiting for. Just a little donkey, I'll show you a crap. I got it here, my spirit chaos and the crap. They brought her to a stable. She made a tiny bed, a tiny bed for baby Jesus to lay his tiny head. Just a little doggy could always push his butt. Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
times to reflect on Jesus Christ. The wonder of his lowly birth brings meaning to our lives. But so much seems to distract in the business of our lives. We lose our focus in all happenings, not knowing we without Christ. We need to stop and reflect a while, remembering our precious Lord, his birth, his life, his sacrifice, and all that he stands for. Come, they told me, just a little drummer boy. I have nothing to present to king, no treasure, no gold ring. Instead, I play my drum for him, the rhythm brave and sweet. I play my best for him, it was a gift to a newborn king. I'm just a poor boy too. I have nothing to give our king that he does not already own. I have my life, my heart, and my hands to offer before the throne. Mary smiled at me, the oxen went pet time. I fiercely played my drum, striking brightly and strong, a gentle and low. I played my drum for him. Played my best for him. Then he smiled at me. Me, my drum. Musician. Originally from the little town of Sherwood, Tennessee, he hasn't been back for many years. His grandparents raised him and are very proud of him. Lately, he gotten tired of all the tours and TV appearances. He needs a rest, and what a better place to do that than at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Hi. Why me, Lord? Me. What have I ever done to deserve even one of these pleasures? Sonny, what's going on, Sonny? Man, have I got big news for you, my guy. What, what, what? Well, I'll tell you, but you're never going to believe it. But wait, who's got the best agent around? It's you, Sonny boy, you. What in the world are you talking about, man? Look, you're never going to believe this, man. I got the biggest gig hooked up for you. It's Madison Square Garden in New York City. And afterwards, we got a TV special with Reba McIntyre whenever we can work it out. Oh, okay. Carrie Underwood would have been better. <laughs> we need you, Sonny. I just don't know. You know, it's good news, and I appreciate everything you do for me, Mac. I really do, but I'm just tired. I need a break to rest. I mean, Christmas is coming up. I ain't seen my papa and memo, and I can tell you how long. I, I just, I gotta get home, share with. I mean, Mac, I'm sorry, that Crow Creek Valley calling you. Sherwood? <laughs> Where's Sherwood at? Like Robin Hood, like the Sherwood Forest? Sonny, get back here, man! <laughs> Sonny finally made it back home to his grandma and grandpa's house where he is trying to catch up on his sleep. It's so good to have Sonny home. He hasn't been home in such a long time. Yeah, it's been several years, but you got to remember, he's famous now. He travels all over the world in those fancy jets, tour buses, limos, just a picking and a grinning. Of we can't course. expect him to come home too often. Of course, you're right, dear. Well, he just, does. He does call often. I'm just glad he's here now. You know, maybe he could help us with our church Christmas play. Wouldn't that be great? He used to love to be in the programs. You know, he always used to play Joseph. What's so funny about playing Joseph? I was just remembering that time we had live animals in the nativity, and the sheep kept trying to eat his beard. Oh, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> 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 What's going on, Mamma? We're just sitting here. We didn't mean to wake you up, Sonny. We were just fishing, getting ready for the church Christmas committee. Oh, that's all right. 
y'all having something like that going on, I don't think I'll be getting much rest no way. What's all that laughing about? Oh, uh, we were just thinking about that time we had live animals in the nativity and uh... Oh, and the sheep ate my beard. <laughs> oh, I'll never forget that. Yeah, that was... That's all that was. You know, I've thought about that often. We had some good fun back in doing them programs. We did. Say, Sonny, since you're here, what about helping us out with this year's program? Hey, that would be a great idea. What do you say? Nah, I, I, I don't think so. I, I, I come here to rest, and I, I just, you know, Christmas it just ain't something you know I, you know, do nowadays. I just ain't got time for it, and I just, you know, I just. You know, Pap, I'll just do Christmas your way, and I'll just do Christmas my way. Y'all got any food? <laughs> Later that day, the church committee, Christmas committee met at Grandma's and Grandpa's house. Company. I'll come back later. That's okay, Sonny. This is the uh, church Christmas committee. This is Betty. Oh, I saw you on TV last week. You're awesome. Well, you know, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> and this is Irene and her sister Wanda. Hi. Wanda. Hey. I see how you're Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> He doesn't have movies. He's a musician. Well, when you make movies, I'll be here. This here is George. Hello, Sonny. Hey, George. Uh, you know, I used to play harmonica back in my younger days. I was pretty good at it, too. You just let me know when you need me. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Joe. Hey, Joe, how you doing? You all right? <laughs> and this is Max. Hi, Sonny. I guess people like you are always looking for new talent, aren't you? I saw the Sonny church last week. It goes like this. <laughs> I better let y'all get back to y'all's meeting. You know, we'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> I know your grandma and grandpa are glad you're back home to help out with the Christmas program, son. Oh, Sonny's not helping with the program. He's just here to do some rest. <coughs> y'all go ahead with y'all's meeting. I'll, I'll sit over here. George, what did you mean when you said you didn't know how we're going to do it? Do what? I mean, we can't buy food and toys for the needy like we did last year. But we have to. They depend on us. Well, we can do the best we can, I guess. But right now, I just don't see how we're going to do it. If we can't come up with the money, I guess we'll have to forget it this year. Well, I say God will provide. He always has. He always will. Right, Joe? Uh -huh. Well, let's come up with some ideas, and we'll meet again here next week. <laughs> the next day, the Century Committee meets to discuss the upcoming church program down at the church. Now call the senior and proximity to order. Hold on, nurse. <laughs> oh, Sonny, we woke you up again. We didn't mean to do that. It's all right, ma'am. You got another committee meeting, huh? Yeah, this is the uh, senior and props committee. This is uh, Jane, Lucy, and Edward. Jane, Lucy, Edward, nice to meet you. I have something here, here for you. Well, what's this? It's a song you wrote. A song you wrote? <laughs> Oh, hmm. I'll, I'll sing it for you. You'll sing it for me? <laughs> well, thank you. I, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, is it that time already? I have to 
go feed my chickens. You don't have chickens. Well, then I have to go feed the cows. There must be something I have to feed. <laughs> Maybe y'all can go ahead with y'all's meeting. Edward, I promise. We'll, we'll talk later. Well, first of all, we need some new scenery. Well, we used to last year got wet and they're all ruined. Yeah, we could make new ones if we had the material. That's the trouble. We don't have any money for any of that. The roof took everything we had. Say, maybe Sonny could help us. How about Sonny? Any idea how we could raise some money? Yeah, I do know people. I could see what I could do. <laughs> uh, no. Huh? Sonny's here to rest. I say God will provide. He, uh, he might. He always has. He always will. Hello? Oh, that's awful. That's terrible. That's awful. <laughs> that's terrible. Okay, bye. What? What is it? What is Something it? terrible has happened. What? What? Charlie Morton fell and broke his leg, and he won't be able to walk on it for several weeks. Oh, oh no, that's terrible. He was our music director. Without him, we won't have a Christmas program with music. Oh, let's not panic just yet. God will provide for us. <laughs> Even without music, we can celebrate the miracle that is our Savior's birth. God knew what he was doing when he sent his only son into the world to be born as a baby in a manger in Bethlehem. He knew that the, wise, he knew that the shepherds needed a guiding light and the wise men needed to make that journey to find the baby. He even provided a host of angels to sing. If God can do all that, he can. He can. We can make do without music. Yes, we, sure we can. can. We can. It'll be fine. Hey, maybe I can help after all. There's just got to be something I can do. Well, we don't want to burden you, Sonny. We know you're here to rest. Well, you just hold back on the reins <laughs> a little bit, Papa. You know, I'm getting my rest. But, you know, y'all sitting here talking, it's getting me to thinking. I, I'm really remembering what Christmas is all about. It's about giving. You know, giving unto others. And, you know, and trusting the ones that have faith in Jesus. And, you know, I, I, it's still hard for me to just imagine, Papa, that a king sitting on his throne come down to earth as a baby for us. Amazing story right there, Papa. It's got to be heard. You know, I'm going to do what I can. Y'all going to have music. And old Sonny Boy is going to have y'all money for that Christmas program, too. That'd be wonderful. I love you, Mamma. I'll do it. Hey, Sonny. I know you're here to rest. I know you're here to rest. But I really need you to help us out. I need you to help us out. We don't have anybody do the music for a Christmas program this year. I just don't know what we're gonna do. We'll have to cancel it. We can't find anybody. I was on your last hope. I know I'm the pastor and everything, but I can't I can't pull this off. So I need you to help me this week. Can you help us out? Hey man, I'm off. It's Sheriff with that boy back a shot. <laughs> yeah, I'd be glad to help you out. <laughs> we didn't even have to beg, did we? <laughs> As the day of the Christmas program drew near, Sonny worked with the church youth groups. They painted scenery and made new costumes, and of course they practiced their singing with Sonny taking the lead. That little church couldn't be more proud of their youth and of Sonny. Join us as we watch Sonny and the Youth Christmas Program. Well, Mac, is that you? You did find Sherwood, didn't you? What are you doing here? Do you know how hard it is to find a place without GPS or cell phone service? <laughs> it's a miracle I found this place. But you know what, Sonny? I thought about it. I'm sorry for the way I've been pushing you, man. You know, I've really been on your back. 
And if you don't mind, I'd love to help out with your Christmas program. Of course I don't mind, Mac. I mean, my goodness, old pal. You don't come over here and help me sing if you want. You remember on that tour bus? You always hum your Christmas carols, Jingle Bells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mackie boy, I tell you. Shepherds said one to another, 
Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And he came to, and as they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. The shepherds left their flocks by night to see this baby wrapped in light. A host of angels led them all to you. It was just as the angels said, you'll find him in a major bed. Emmanuel and Savior, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him.
Oh.